What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Dust thou nerd for Renaissance festivals. So you nerd? Welcome to Do You Nerd? I am Tom. This is my wife, the lovely Lady Lacey. Now, we have so many interests, whether it's video games, comic books, movies, TV, all kinds of things. I think you like toys just a little just bit. Just a little bit. And another thing that we love are Renaissance festivals. We try to hit up as many as we can within our area. One of our favorites is the one in Kansas City. This is an amazing Renaissance fair. And we would like to invite you to take a tour and check out the grounds. We love it here, don't we? Here, flip. Look at Tom's lovely outfit. With you, I see. No, uh, yellow jackets are raiding me for honey. <laughs> what flavors did you have? Original peanut butter, uh, cinnamon, blackberry, raspberry, strawberry, jalapeno, gingerbread, pumpkin spice, spiced apple, and vanilla chai. I will. Can I try the spiced apple, please? Absolutely. I also have seven single source honeys. That's where we're keeping the bees on one type of flower. I have. Uh, honey soaked pecans, both regular and and uh, cinnamon. Pumpkin spice. Mm, that is good. I was gonna go raspberry until you said apple. Thank you, sir. Uh, the original is just honey. So these are single source honeys. That's where you're keeping the bees on one type of flower. Oh, yeah. And when it changes the flavor of the honey a lot. Mm. Okay. Those are gone. Toasting floats.
This is our local castle. It's uh, built in the 11th century. Seriously, Mike, that is awesome. I'll tell you what, we are just finishing getting dressed and we will meet you there. And yeah, that's awesome, Tom. If you just come to uh, this address, so this address. Mike, Mike, Mike I, I, I got turned around. I was by the castle, now I'm in the woods. There's this dude in green tights. I think he's gonna rob me. Tom, where are you? I'm in the forest. I've just been robbed by some guy in green tights. Help! Now we have been going to the KC Renfest for a couple of years now, and we always have a just a, a fantastic time. It is mm -hmm. so much fun. A lot of the permanent buildings, everything set up in the woods. I mean, the setting is just perfect. So many people, whether the vendors, the actors on hand, and the people that come into the fair just yeah. to have fun. They really make it a great time. This year, wow, this one was a little different. I believe that we spoke to a woman at the end of the day. We did, who yes. Who said uh, they had, was it like a near record number attendance? Basically, if she said that they'd had more people on that day than they'd had in the last 10 years. Whoa. I feel like she threw out the number 50,000 yeah, people yeah, throughout some, the day. Yeah, that sounds about right, yeah. So, you know, people do come and go. But the nice thing is the way that the Kansas City Renaissance Fair is set up, there's a lot of space, both on all mm -hmm. of the venues going everywhere and just in the whole park in general. So it never felt cramped once you were inside. No, you definitely could tell that there was a lot of people there. Just by looking, you could see hordes of people, but it never felt like that really anywhere you went. The only problem I think was sometimes getting up to some of the vendors, yeah. but generally, I mean, that was just if you wanted to kind of be more of a looky-loo and get a, a closer upper look at whatever they had for sale. Although I will say, once we got to our destination, it was under a mile and it took us, I think, an hour just an hour? to get parked. It took us an hour to go 0.8 of a mile. <laughs> So that was insane. The line to get in was insane. You know, those those are things that are, of course, obviously out of their control. And it didn't do anything to hamper the spirits that we had for the day. I mean, we still had a, an amazing time. The weather was perfect, too. Yeah. People obviously wanted to be out. The only problem standing in line was that you could hear the merriment going on. And you're just like, oh, yeah. I want to be in there. Yeah, I want to be in there, not in this line. <laughs> Once again, I'm being mistaken for an employee. <laughs> <laughs> now, again, as far as the vendors go, uh, as long as you were patient and, and willing to, you know, be kind and everything, you easily got in there to look at everything. I think about the only lines that were a little discouraging were the food lines. Yes. But come on, when you're there to get a turkey leg, I mean, you're getting that turkey yeah. leg. Yeah. So you, you put in that time. I would say the only thing that I would probably ever really suggest to KC Renfair to improve is I do believe there's only like three, maybe four stalls that sells turkey legs and they have a lot of food stalls. So it's right. like, in my opinion, I feel like you should maybe add more turkey leg stalls or more like this stall doesn't just sell this food but it also sells a turkey leg too that might help alleviate that could the be lines handy. yeah i'm looking for a turkey leg are they really all gone i came to this place for a turkey leg and i hear they all have disappeared I believe this was the last weekend of the season. It was last so, weekend. You yeah. know, great weather, people wanting to get out. Last weekend of the season. Come on, it's going to be busy anyway. <laughs> uh, but we found some fun things there. Yes. We are always on the lookout for things that catch our eye. We generally don't go into the parks looking for anything in particular. No. But something, especially with this one. Something always catches I can always eye. find something to buy, yes. I've seen them a couple of times in the fair, and this time I decided I was going to buy it. I was going to pop on it. First purchase of the day. Now I can defend myself. A knife wouldn't have anything to do with the line getting in here, right? Yeah, I got a little angry in line, and I uh, needed to make it go faster. So I purchased one of the handmade dragon's tooth daggers. And they are hand carved and hand stained and painted. And we were even watching them do it right then and there. So you know it's real. And the thing I liked about this one was it just fits in your hand 
really well. It doesn't matter which hand you hold it in. It's just the grooves are all in the right spots. Now, did you say that you believe it's resin that they cut yeah, it if, out of? Yeah, it feels like resin, yes. Yeah. But they do such an immaculate job of making this part, the blade part, look yes. like a bone. Very good heft to it. So, I mean, it's a good, decent size. Rawr! Stabby dagger. I don't get mad, I get stabby. Something like this really, really makes for a great decorative piece in the house. Like if you just want a display piece, you know, get a nice stand to put that on and mm -hmm. have in there. And it's going to look so, so cool. Or if you use it as a costume piece, I mean, it's a great conversation starter. Yeah. And if you travel to other fairs, that's something that usually catches people. Mm -hmm. on. And then you can be like, well, I got this at Kansas City. Yeah. And encourage them to then... Go, go check, check out, out Kansas that City. And I got a smaller one on a necklace so that, you know, you know, ladies always kind of need a little protection no matter where they go. <laughs> so I got me a nice smaller dragon's tooth. Might be a baby dragon or one of the back teeth or something like that. So that, that also shows they have a lot of different sizes. And they even had ones bigger than this one. And I have a one, my eye on one of the bigger ones. That's what she said. <laughs> won't that joke ever go away something worth noting is that even though it's a smaller one it doesn't skimp on the no, quality it or really the detail doesn't. and no. everything the handle has amazing carving detail in there the way that the bone portion looks like bone still looks great even with a smaller blade Nice. Very nice. It's a nice find there. I can still stab you good, though. Uh, probably would, too. <laughs> Pretty, isn't it? Perfectly balanced. My uh, lovely lord here hooked his uh, lady up with some jewelry. What lady doesn't want some fresh jewelry? They got some really nice doubloons. We like to collect our coins anywhere we go, whether they're real coins or fake coins. So he uh, got me these really cute the bloom earrings so these will be great as a costume piece or an everyday wear and very practical surprisingly we bought these off of some pirates generally they don't just let that booty go willy-nilly so i'm i'm surprised we were able to actually but i will take your money and trade for them much like you you don't you don't let your booty go very easily <laughs> <laughs> you know speaking of coins there is a gentleman here at kc who has in the past had all kinds of coins set up. Uh, one year he had some bars. We made the mistake of not getting those then. And we did ask him if he was ever bringing those back. He actually announced that this was probably the last year he would be there with coins. And that is a shame because I love to come home with a little stack of coins. Mm -hmm. We actually have a little treasure chest that we put our coins in, you know, Gotta keep your treasure safe. <laughs> and I try not to get the same coins twice, but there might be some duplicates in there. And honestly, it's a no big deal because these things are too cool. You have different metals that these are cast in and all of the pressings are so sharp and clean and so many fun designs. Occasionally, you'll get some fun shapes, maybe something a little more oblong, maybe something that's not as rounded. The other thing I like about these coins is it's a different thing on each side. So it's they didn't just stamp the same thing and like, you know, smush it together. There's different pictures on each side. Oh yeah, good call because they're if you get duplicates, that's all right. You want to show both sides, yep. so you know, yep. one for each side. It's a shame that he may not be making any more of these. I would definitely love to continue to add these to the treasure chest and maybe even have to upgrade that treasure chest to a larger one, you know, because what well, pirate doesn't want a little extra booty? Yep. My favorite booty is pirate booty. Fill up your the last thing I would like to note about the coins that I find kind of interesting is not only are they different shapes, but they're also different thicknesses. So you can definitely kind of tell they're from different countries because yeah. this one might be thicker in this country, but not as thick in this country. Lend some more realism. Mm -hmm. So when you have them all together, it's like, oh yeah, you've traveled abroad and collected treasure from all over the world. <laughs> the last pickup that I got 
was this adorable little handmade gnome. <laughs> and the funny thing is, is I was drawn to this little guy. I loved the color scheme. It just, everything about the color just really popped. And then when I picked him up and looked at his name, he's called Lefty Gnome. And I am a lefty. <laughs> so I was like, it's perfect. Got me the cutest little gnome guy. Do you feel like you can tell what he's made out of? He has a sheen almost like glass, but is that just... It feels like clay. Okay. Like a clay that was then, you know, baked to a harden and then painted really pretty. And it's either painted pretty or it is just colored clay, but he is shellacked. So he's got a nice, pretty color to him. And they definitely had a good variety did, of those. Yes. So if you wanted to start up a new collection, perfect thing to go for. Small, does it take up a lot of space? And you've got all kinds of options. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little unsettling. Now, there was one thing that you almost picked up. You yes. kept going back and forth on. And I I didn't think I was going to regret not picking it up. But once we got into the car and got about an hour away, I really, really regretted it. But there was this gorgeous cane or staff that had a beautiful purple dragon's head on it. And then under was just beautiful chunks of amethyst and i love amethyst it's such a pretty deep rich purple and the only reason i didn't pop on it was because it was really heavy because of all the amethyst on there and i was afraid that if i tried to incorporate that into a costume piece it would just my arm would get tired after a while halfway through a ren fair and then what am i going to do in the car I kind of talked myself into it thinking, well, even if I didn't want to take it to Ren Fairs, it's a beautiful piece of art because it was. The, the gentleman who made it is an artist and it was one of a kind and it was like it'd be a beautiful art piece in the house. So <sighs> I'll be keeping an eye out to see if he ever goes to any other Ren Fairs we go to. <laughs> and as well as that, we did get a business card. Yes. So if you just can't wait, you could probably contact him sooner. That's another thing to keep in mind. Having those business cards on hand is a great way to get in touch with them. And I'm sure that most of them will be all too happy to work with you on that. Or, of course, just visit the next rent fair and maybe you'll see them there. <laughs> well, nerdlings, we really hope that you enjoy just this glimpse of the Kansas City Renaissance Fair. This video definitely does not do it justice. We do have some videos in the past that we put together. Maybe those show things off a little better but there are many many shows to catch when you go to the fair yes. and there are so many vendors to visit so we would like to implore you to please check out a local renaissance festival if you happen to have one and if you think about it get a couple of clips you know some pictures anything <laughs> we would love to see it because it always makes us jealous to yes. see the coolest fairs that we're missing out on or if you're in the area please check out the kansas city renaissance fair Make sure you give those shows the proper time that they deserve and check out all of the vendors there. You're going to find some amazing, amazing stuff. I am going to go deposit this safely in the treasure chest in case anyone should happen to try to plunder it. Make sure you give the video See? a like. That's what I bought these for so we can protect our booty, our treasure. Comment down below <laughs> if you hit up the Ren Fair. I'm probably not going to keep doing that voice because it's probably <laughs> awful but there is a bell if you would like to subscribe hit that notification bell and you will know the next time we hit a renaissance festival let's see what you're missing out on and as always do not forget to like us on facebook twitter and instagram please tell us either in the comments of the video below or on facebook twitter and instagram if there's a ren fair you think we should check out we do try to keep it within three hours of us but i am willing to travel because i love my ren fairs over on Tee Public, we've got some merchandise we would love to see you in. And check us out on the Retro Refresh. Nerdlings, if we like it. We nerd it, but we don't share it. Eyes off the booty, my boy. Rawr. Rawr. Yar. You don't get the booty either. I got the booty. Yar. Can't argue with that one. <laughs> Bye-bye, me mateys. Well, you have different metals. Speaking of metals. Hang on. I feel like there's a sneeze in there. Check out. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that in the middle of you talking. Excuse me. <laughs>
I tried to hold it in so long. <laughs>